science? Well, I guess I'm a Victorian at heart. You know, and the Victorians didn't really see art and science as separate. They saw it all as one thing. You know, um, Prince Albert put on his exhibition in, in the Crystal Palace in 1851, and it was the works of all nations. It wasn't art or science. So I kind of feel the same thing. I was forced to choose between art and science at school, and it kind of wounded me for a very long time, and I had to make a choice. Uh, but having gone off and been an artist for years and years, I came back to the science, and I'm very lucky now that I can keep doing both. But I think the one informs the other. I think there's an awful lot of um, good science is done in a very artistic way because you have to use intuition. Science isn't just dry facts. You know, science is about asking the right questions, which is a very human thing. Uh, finding the answers is not so hard once you ask the right question, you know, and that's a kind of art. Um, and similarly in you know in the music that, uh, that I've been creating, I'm not saying that I construct it on mathematical principles at all, it's very intuitive, but I think the fact that I'm a scientist makes me able to bring other things to it. It's part of being a, a, a whole human being. So I, if I had my way, uh, our children would be brought up feeling that there is no conflict. You, know, you pursue everything that you're interested in. Some of it may have been called art by our, our parents and some of the science, but you know, it's all great. And um, and to be a complete human being, you have to be open to all of it.